Yep. This is real. <laughs> Stupid reacts to idiots. I'm Corbin. I'm Rick, and I'm like this all the time. It's true. Uh, you can follow us on Instagram, Instagram and Twitter. Twitter. Oh, juicy it's so juicy. And today, they're not going to believe it. No, I'm sure you don't believe it. Uh, we are reviewing Rockstar. Could it be? Uh, the uh, actually, psych. We're doing a reaction to a trailer. That's true. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that would be so great. That would be hilarious. If you thumbnailed it, Rockstar, but we just didn't do it. Yeah, that would be funny. Be Should so we do that? No. no uh, we're not going to do that to you. But, uh, I mean, this is the most requested review. <laughs> also, the most divisive. Uh, yes. Most people have said they love it. Most people, like half the other people, have said they absolutely despise it. Uh, so, we'll see if you see some of that here. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and, spoiler alert, we're going to talk about things in the film. And if you haven't seen it, because it did just come out eight years ago. <laughs> it's all spoilers. Yeah. But all spoilers now. Um, how do you say that name? Jonathan. 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 Jakar. Jonathan Jakar. And JJ. Okay. Jordan. Um, yeah, JJ. Chases his dream to become a big rock star during which, uh, which he falls into love with her. Here. 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 It's directed by, say it. Uh, directed by M.T. Azali. Uh, he directed Jab We Met, mm -hmm. and uh, I'm sure other stuff. And A.R. <laughs> Rahman was the composer. Who's that? Uh, he really likes Rahman. <laughs> and for those of you watching for the first time, we know who he is. Um, and obviously starring uh, Ranbir Kapoor. Who's that? Oh, Alien Number 3. Yes. So, um... <laughs> uh, sorry, headphone users. <laughs> Sorry, I needed a stretch there. Uh, <laughs> let's talk about uh, what let's we... Let's talk about... No. Let's talk about what we liked. Okay. Um, a lot. Because I know we both have things we didn't like. Correct. Um, in this film. Yeah. We, we haven't, haven't talked about it, but I... I we know. haven't talked, but we shared some. Because we do that. If we're watching yeah. something, it'll be like... We'll send a message. If we're not watching it together. Because we typically... If it's in a theater, we watch it together. Yeah. But the ones that we watch that are either streaming or a DVD, we watch yeah. separately. It's just so, like schedules. Obviously, the... Biggest draw and big best part of this film is obviously Ranbir. Ranbir. He, I think he did a phenomenal job. Um, he did. He was completely different than he was in our last thing with him, which was Barfy. Yeah. Do you know what this this showed me? That he now that we've seen enough of his work to get a feel for the guy. Yeah. That he can do good work with anything he's given. Mm -hmm. I, I, he's the kind of actor that I think doesn't just won't turn in. He may do a bad film, mm -hmm. but I, he's the kind of actor, you give him a bad film, a bad script, and bad anything else, I think he's just still going to work hard and present kind something kind of like a, strong. a Tom Hardy. I, I've, never yeah. seen, I've never seen that man give a bad performance. No, Tom performance. Hardy's never done a he's bad He's done bad films, but he's never, I've never seen him give a bad performance. Yeah, that's a great comparison. In, in a film. I'm not saying they're the same type they're of actor. They're nowhere near the same kind of an actor by uh, any stretch of the imagination. But they both... At least from what I see, you could tell us if we're completely and utterly wrong, because uh, I know he's done a lot of films. Uh, but if, from what I've seen and what I garner, he, he, he's a solid actor all around. He usually always does really good work. Yeah. And, and yeah, he's given. never... He's very honest especially, in, in, in his portrayals of everything. Yes, 100%. And he never... It, there's, there were a lot of opportunities here where he could have, by reason of the script or by reason of anything else... He could have just phoned it in or just done a lot of indicating. Mm -hmm. And he, he, I just don't see that in the guy. Yeah. So I have a lot of respect yeah. for the guy as an actor. Huge respect for him. And I, I love the transformation he went through uh, into becoming the rock star. Which uh, is hard in film because most films are not filmed sequentially. So the, the actor has to have, in the majority of films that you do, an understanding of the breadth of the work and have fully fleshed out the character so that you can, on any given day... You know, your character's got a particular trajectory and an arc and then a climax and a resolution in terms of its growth. And if you're filming the end of a film on day one, yeah. and then you're filming the beginning of the film at the end and you mix them all up, it's very difficult to make sure that you are exactly where that character needs to be at any given moment. He has very honest eyes. Very honest eyes. I, don't, I, uh, I know that's a weird statement. <laughs> but, uh, like... Anytime he's on screen, you just he he like Topeka, 
Williams. That's exactly very. I mean, very, very different eyes, obviously. Yeah, uh, and hers are much bigger, but like his eyes are his, one of his drawing factors as an actor. Yes, um, he has very expressive eyes. Yes, like one of my favorite scenes in this was when after he became big and he was going through a bunch of stuff, right? Uh, and his friend, who I forget his name, the bigger guy, who's constantly yeah. trying to motivate him. Um, he they're talking in the street and he's like what are you doing you're gonna uh, lose all your fans yeah with the fans around and, him but the media. then like, like he's trying to tell them all this stuff they're like you're gonna lose your popularity but he's like getting screamed at yeah and uh like people are wanting to get to him yeah and so it was a funny dynamic um but they also just the he just he just was he just looked at him the whole time he didn't really say anything he was like what are you saying yeah what yeah <laughs> and he was just i was like i thought that was a fantastic scene i thought he did a really good job um expressing that with his eyes and um he didn't do i mean he did obviously uh, talking but he did more just listening and um in that type of acting and which i which i really appreciate yeah like most actor. actors he did more when he wasn't saying anything mm -hmm. yeah uh, other part of this film that I really loved, obviously the music. Yeah, the music is phenomenal. At, at every level, every song and the score was, and that's important for a film. Like the, the first film that comes to my mind when I, talk, when I think about a movie that got it right, mm -hmm. where the music matched the story they were telling, yeah. was That Thing You Do. I never saw that one. That Thing You Do is a film that stars Tom Hanks, if you haven't seen it, and it's about a rock band from the 1950s who become this one-hit wonder. Mm. Well, if you're going to be a band from the 19... It's the 1960s, I think, who are going to be a one-hit wonder, and they've got to feel... It's like the Beatles. Then the hit better sound like a freaking hit. Mm. It, it, it. And the song is done over and over and over again in the film, and it's one of those songs. It's like Love Me Do or any of the other Beatles songs that when they first came out, you're like, I want to keep hearing that song. The song, That Thing You Do is actually a great song. And it got some radio play, so that's important. When yeah. you're portraying somebody who's a big rock star that has hit singles, the music better be good. Yeah, obviously. And it, it was. It's not a shock, A.R. Raman. Yeah. Know, the guy knows how to make music. <laughs> no, really, really good song. And it was, it, like, rock, my, my favorite type of uh, music is classic rock. Yeah. That is what I love, Led Zeppelin, all those, all those bands from back in the, what, 40s? That's yes, right. Um, <laughs> Back in World War II. That's yeah. what the guys were listening to over there in Normandy. Led Zeppelin. Yeah, yeah. Led Zeppelin. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I loved all the f music in this. Me too. Um, and it was it was deceiving because when we reacted to Sada Hawk. Yeah. Like yeah, I, I thought this was going to be like this was a political yeah. uh, uh, singer, and this is all like I'm sure that's why they were laughing in the comments. They were like, yeah, this is not what this. Yeah, is. I thought this was going to be. The story, like, I thought this was going to be more like uh, Shahid Kapoor and Uda Punjab. Yeah, that's of, what I thought. Right? Yeah. And the, the but like a very political, like a Bob Dylan type. Exactly. Um, who, this guy whose artistry is being kicked against by the, the establishment and yeah. they're trying to hold him down, but his fans are getting him up and he does concerts that throw him in jail. That's, I was expecting that central story. Yeah, that's what, uh, and obviously it wasn't. No. Um, and it, it was much more about uh, the love story. Mm -hmm. And... This is where we can go into some of the stuff that bothered us. Um, I was actually enjoying, not all the film, but most of the film for, for a while because I thought it was going in a certain direction. Right. I thought it was going to be about, and it was very intriguing because I was like, this is actually a true story that happens to artists. I thought it was going to be an artist who's been told that in order to make art, you need to have gone through stuff right mm -hmm. like you need to have had a heartbreak you need to have uh you know had some uh trials you right need to, all this kind of stuff so and that happens to every artist regardless of if you're a painter if you're an actor if you're a musician you're, yes that's what you're told as a young artist well when he had that moment with his friend mm -hmm. and he's saying to him you you really can't be an artist yet yeah i i said the word when he said it mm -hmm. when he said there's one thing you have to have to be an artist mm -hmm. and i said Pain. Yeah. And he said, pain. Yeah. Yeah. So, and I thought, okay, so we're going to watch the trajectory of this man as he goes through some things that are going to transcendently impact him with suffering and pain. Well, I, I was actually hoping it was going in a different direction. I thought it was him trying to manufacture these events. Well, he was. At yeah, I know. Right. right. And that's where, that's where I was, I was really hoping this was going. And I was, and I was hoping like in the end, like he was going to find out that he was like, I, I don't really love her. I was just trying to manufacture these yeah. events. And then he got everything he wanted. And then he was just sad in the end, which was kind of how it ended a little bit. 
um, but it was a lot more of just, it, it, it moved into the love story, which was fine. The, the part that lost me was <laughs> like, that his touch can heal cancer. Like, <laughs> and okay, like, yeah. I, 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 and, and once that happened, I was like, I, I can't do this. <laughs> that does not happen. So let me ask you a question. Mm -hmm. You were in up until that point? I was, not all the points, there was, like I think we've discussed, the, the actor who played her, not a fan. I'm, she might have done good work in something else. Do me a favor. Um, I would like to see her resume on IMDb and find out Spy what. Rockstar. Yeah, well, go ahead and click it. I want to see in the scope of what she's done, how much she's done, and where this fell in line of. It was look her, at her first, first film, and it shows. Yeah. Um, bless her heart. Um, I don't mean this with any personal disdain. Uh, I just had an extraordinarily hard time watching her. Yeah. No, I, um, I, she was 100% a, a not great. No. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I, 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 and I don't want to harp on her too much. No, I uh, don't either. I don't want to harp on a lot of things too much. But I do want you guys to know that this went off the rails for me yeah. pretty early. Mm -hmm. it, it, it was, I would fall into the category of people who don't understand the appeal of this movie in any way, shape, or form. Um, well, right beer. Yeah, but for me... Mm -hmm. It was it was hard to sit through even mm. with him, um, be, for a lot of reasons. Mm. Uh, for, and 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 first of all, uh, yes, I I had a really hard time watching somebody who I knew was an untrained, unexperienced actor trying to carry a role where she's the lead actress opposite someone as good as he is. Mm -hmm. uh, and then add to it, I did not understand why he liked her because she was non-stop mind gaming him and doing stuff that just was like dude why are you so enamored with somebody I just I did not I didn't connect with them either mm -hmm. I didn't I kept looking at it thinking first of all on his his wanting to be a rock star and him being such a negative ugly person to people because he's not around this girl he loves who treats him like crap. Mm -hmm. It's like, dude, this isn't suffering and pain you're going through, man. Um, unrequited love or not being able to be with the person that you love, yeah, that can be a torture. But she's not someone that I think he should even be with. I think that's why I was in it longer than you were is because I, that's not how I was thinking about it. Really? I was thinking about it like he was, like I, I, I was almost hoping like he didn't actually love her, and all everything he was doing was that would have been better. Was, that's what I was hoping for. Yeah. <laughs> was then that's how I was viewing it at that time. And so I was like, uh, I was watching him, and I was like, I'm enjoying his performance, and this is where I'm hoping this is going because it's it's a story. Like as a young artist, I like you're told that. I went through that as a young artist. Usually, like I have to go through some stuff in order to, mm -hmm. in order to be a good actor. I have to, I have to go through stuff, and then you realize that no, that's that's stupid. You're gonna go through stuff just in life. You yeah. don't have to try to manufacture anything. Right. But I was hoping that's where this was going was him trying to manufacture love, pain, heartbreak, going to jail. Right. Uh, like, right. 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 Like, right. I was hoping that like, and it looked for a while that's where it was going and then it, it, it didn't it, it did not uh, it didn't go that way and I, I like I said I, once basically he was like I have the magic touch and I can cure cancer but you well, have see, to be with me that that <laughs> that aspect of it uh, here's what bothered me about that aspect mm -hmm. of it I wasn't so put off by the fact that when he was gone she was getting sick and when he was near her she was getting better because there are cases in which that does happen because of the positivity that another person being with the person brings. It doesn't down. cure cancer. No, but it didn't. It didn't <laughs> or whatever cure the hell her. she had. It didn't cure her. It put her into a place that would have been a level of, of remission, as it were. She was. wasn't able to get up, and then when he was there, she was able That's to. That's the up. part. I, I, how did she go from being almost unable to talk? to when he's going to kiss her, she can now fight him off and get out of bed and push him away. And I know what they tried to justify in the script by saying she got up because he was around 
the level of believability in yeah. that regard was transcendently off the charts for me. That, I, I couldn't believe that in any way, shape, or form. That was my, uh, like I said, once that happened, it was hard for me outside of watching Ren Beer to stay in the film. Because, oh, of course, oh, like I, I, didn't, I didn't like her acting. And bless her heart, it was her first film. And it's a tough thing to carry when you're opposite an actor like Ren Beer. Yeah, but then my question um, is this. My question is sincerely this. I don't, is she Why did you cast her? Is she related to somebody? Yeah, because here we go. It's not fair to her, and it's not fair to the, the art form. Mm -hmm. um, and here's where I'm going to really get picky, because I know a lot of people, a, a lot of you stupid babies were like dying for us to watch this and review it. Oh, every single, uh, uh, every yeah. single reaction and, we do. And I'm wanting to know what it is about the film on an artistic level you like. Because apart from Ran Beer's capacity to take any material and turn it into something and the that's music. good, and the music, the music, and there were some moments, especially in the opening, there were some things with the cinematography and direction that I liked. But ultimately, and as a whole, I I don't understand why people like the film or want to watch it. Mm. It was painful, and that word for me is to to struggle through a, a script and a story and some acting from pretty much everybody but Ram Beer that was so below the level of what it should be for a film, I, I'm, I'm trying to understand what it is about the film that you guys like. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm sure they'll let us know and they'll be funny memes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, and I will say this because some of you will, act, will, will bring it up. You know what I'm gonna say. Uh, the guitar playing or something? Yeah, uh, it, it, it wasn't perfect, but they sure did a much better job. And he clearly did his homework and was working hard. Mm -hmm. uh, a couple of small moments that for me were a little irritating, but for the most part, it wasn't like monstrously bad. For the most part, it was, it was really, really good. Mm -hmm. And it's very, very hard, but it's required for musicianship like anything. If you're doing a movie about sports, like when we watched Lagan, yeah, everybody there was believable in what they were doing that wasn't you know, World Cup level cricket, but they could play cricket. Mm. If you watch the uh, Rudy, everybody there can play football. Mm. Uh, so when you're doing a, like that thing you do, the, the whiplash is, oh. fam and so is La La Land. Yeah, great in that on that level. So no bones to pick. A couple little small spots, but uh, on the te technical aspect, that, but I just I had a I had a very it was I had to force myself to push through watching it. It was incredibly difficult for me to continue to push watching it because I, I, I didn't care about the people in the story. I didn't understand why. I understand if, if you were looking at it the way you were looking at it at the beginning especially because that's the part that I enjoyed the most because I was hoping it was going in a certain direction. But if you were looking at like, um, like if you were looking at like a true love story, that's I would, I'd almost never had looked at it like that until the very end. And that's when it lost me is when they actually I was like, okay, they're actually in love. That's not as interesting to me. Um, I, yeah, because I, like I said, I was hoping it was all like it was going to be almost like an unda unda hun like twist. Right. It, none, none of this is real. This is all just an artist. Oh yeah, being an artist. That's where I was hoping it was going. Yeah, and I really, and I really didn't put presuppositions on it that stuck. For example, when I realized it wasn't going to be the story of this guy and his rock star trajectory. Yeah. I thought, okay, let it be what it's going to be. But what I didn't understand were the twofold lines of this was the one, his story as the artist and what he wanted to achieve. That got really blurry for me. And I didn't, I didn't see him taking the journey that it was just all of a sudden he was the rock star. And yeah, he's, yeah, he's in jail for, for, for what? I mean, he, he was mean to reporters. Okay. Yeah. Um, really? That's suffering? He went to jail for being mean to reporters. Okay? Yeah. Um, he, that's not Lenny Bruce. You know what I mean? This isn't a guy who's breaking boundaries and pushing the system and yeah. getting imprisoned in the middle of a show. Yeah. I thought he was just trying to be, like, in the beginning, um, who's that guy he said that gave him the finger? Um, um, was it Mick, was it Mick Jagger, was it? Uh, him, you said give him the finger. I thought Johnny Cash immediately. No, no, no. That he, picture, but I know that's he, he said something to. in the beginning. He was like, he wanted to be like Jim Morrison. Jim Morrison, thank you. Yeah. Uh, and so that's where, like, like I said, that's where I was hoping it was going. Him trying to me too. basically be, be Jim, Jim Morrison. Morrison. Yeah, have do, that life. And because I know people like that, that yeah. have a favorite artist, and they try to emulate their life even in bad stuff. Right. To try to come up with a similar life as the person they 
See, admire. That would have been for me. Which is why I was in it for a while, because I was hoping that's where it was going. I would have loved to have seen a story about an artist who's just like that, who doesn't know who he is. He's told mm -hmm. by somebody respect, you've got to suffer. Mm -hmm. And he's like, I've got to be like Jim Morrison. So he pours himself into being just like Jim Morrison. Does everything Jim Morrison did. This girl falls in love with him, he falls in love with her, mm -hmm. but she sees he doesn't know who he is. He's, and she wants him to just be himself, and in the end, whatever that outcome is going to be, he has to come to terms with, I know you'd love for him to OD. Yes, 100%. Uh, have him come <laughs> to a place of recognizing you can't be a true artist by manufacturing someone else's suffering. Yep. You have to be yourself, and the suffering in and of itself isn't the point. Yep. It's being in touch with whatever you've experienced. That's where I was hoping it was going. And it didn't even come close. It turned into this weird, it, wonky, it's a, I didn't even it, think it, of, it as a, of a love story. It could have gone there, which is, like I said, why I was in it for uh, so long outside of her acting. She was the biggest one that kept taking it, me out of it, of course. Yes. But, uh, like I said, I don't want to harp on her too much. Um, but it, it didn't go that way, and so that was, that was quite disappointing. But, yeah. And, and, and here's, the, here's the thing in regard to, for example, we don't, I think if you've watched this long enough, you know that we don't think every film has to be cinema and fine artistry and award-winning level. We love films that Deli Belly would fall into that category. Mm -hmm. uh, Deborah would fall into that category. If you don't know what that is, look back at some of our films. Uh, but this was neither. This was neither one of those films that you just want to watch to enjoy, nor it would wasn't anything remotely close to fine artistry. Yeah. Uh, and outside I, of, that's why I, outside of Rambeer. Outside of Rambeer. I, and and, and, and A.R. Robbins. And the songs. Yeah. yeah. Songs Robin, no, the songs, songs are phenomenal. And a couple, are, a couple of them are my favorite. And Rambeer is the kind of guy who can take something awful, like I said, and, and turn it into something wonderful. But I'm trying to comprehend the, the appreciation of this on a number of levels. And uh, because I don't, I didn't relate to what was going on. I didn't know why he loved her. Mm. I didn't know why she was playing mind games with him, if she really loved him, why she was doing the things that she did. I definitely didn't understand. There's just so much that I didn't yeah. understand the justification for. I didn't see an arc for him or for her that mattered to me. And I also didn't see the level of his discontent with his fame being commiserate to... I just, I just didn't get it on so many levels and don't understand the appeal. You so, can't win them all. You can't win them all. That's what Yogi Berra said. You can't win the ones you lose. <laughs> but uh, I do want to see more Ranbir. Uh, Absolutely. Love him. Um, your, your justice for Ranbir hashtag worked. Good job. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. If that was your main goal was watch Rockstar so you can watch Ranbir, done. Good deal. But everything else about this, yeah. this would fall at the bottom of the list for me. I would not recommend this to anybody to see uh, at all. But let us know what other um, Red Beer uh, performances we should, I know there's a, a bunch that you've recommended, uh, or what other films we should watch and review next, because there's a lot. There's a lot. Uh, there's a lot. There's a lot. And we really want we're, we're trying to get to, like last week we were busy and that's why we couldn't get to any. We had that 300K video that we had to, sorry. Uh, so we're, we're trying to get at least two a week, if not more. We'd love to get more. Um, but uh, let us know uh, if, if, if you can tell us certain things about the film that we missed. Yeah. Please let us know in the comments. Yeah. Uh, uh, but other than that, you're welcome. We did it. We finally got to it. <laughs>